this meeting to order. This meeting is being recorded. I hereby declare this meeting to order and state that this is a meeting of the mayor and council of the town of Harrison, scheduled for October 4, 2022. This is a regular meeting and proper public notice in compliance with the Sunshine Law has been forwarded to two newspapers published in this area, posted on the bulletin board, town website, and the main access door of the town hall. And a copy of said notice has been filed in the office of the town <clears throat> clerk. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, United States of America and to the Republic, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, one nation, indivisible, indivisible liberty, liberty, and justice for all. For all. Okay, Paul, do you have to read a... Um, Yes, Mayor. No, so, <clears throat> so okay. as usual, this meeting is conducted or being conducted remotely using the Zoom platform. Okay. Members of the public can join the meeting, but their microphones will be muted during the public comment <laughs> section. Um, and also during we have an ordinance on second reading uh, for a hearing. You will need to virtually raise your hand to participate from your desktop, laptop, or Zoom, Zoom app. Use the raise your hand icon. Otherwise, from your phone, star nine. We will recognize you, unmute you, allow you to speak, and then when you're done, put you back on mute and go to the next commentator. That's it, Mayor. Okay, thank you, Paul. Uh, Paul, we, Clerk, will you please call the roll? Councilman Bennett? Here. Romano? Dollahan? Here. Doran? Here. Maranga? Here. Mendoza? Here. Darabondo? Here. Bolada? Here. And Mayor Fife? Here. Okay. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes of the September 26th, 2022 motion. meeting? Motion. Okay. Okay. Made and seconded. seconded. You have the name, Paul? Yep, okay. I got it. Okay. Councilman Bennett? Aye. Dollahan? Aye. Uh, Doran? Aye. Moranga? Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Darabondo? Aye. Pilata? Aye. And Mayor Fife. Aye. Before we, we go to the uh, legal committee, uh, would uh, Councilperson Mendoza give us a little rundown on the, I guess it's the October 30th uh, Sunday proposal yes. at the park? Yes, thank you, Mayor. So last year, um, we were quite successful with the Fall Fest. Um, we had what's called the pumpkin patch um, so we had uh, a lot of the kids come out and unfortunately we were low on um, our giveaways. So um, in discussing this with the mayor earlier today and with uh, Ellie uh, Vialto, we were thinking um, since we were hands-on and actually doing the give outs that we were going to increase um, our order. Um, so again, yes, Mayor, it is um, for Sunday, uh, October 30th, um, seeing as the 29th uh, was not doable because I believe the fire department has their event. So we're going right. to do the same as we did um, last year. Um, we're going to give away the pumpkins, apples, the cider, and a goodie bag. Um, also okay. uh, have a display uh, for the kids to have uh, their pictures taken. Um, I'm you, assuming... Uh, did we have any music last year? Uh, yes, we did. I believe with okay. the help of Larry, I believe he reached out to um, one of the guys to put the, um, the music. Okay. All right. And I guess this so will that... um, go into what um, Larry had mentioned earlier about doing uh, the Halloween um, parade, because we did that also um, the same day. Okay. All right. Uh, Larry, Is that what you, you were thinking, Larry? We're gonna, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have the Halloween on Halloween now, because oh, okay. the kids dress up for Halloween, and they're not gonna dress up two or three days, you know, in a row. So we'll we'll do your the pa pumpkin patch with the kids, and then Halloween we'll have our our uh, Halloween celebration with um, the bounty rides and uh, and uh, giveaways candies and stuff like that 
I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't hear you. Hey, Cass, um, you're a little, you're a little muffled. All right. We're we're gonna have we're gonna have um, Halloween on Halloween on Monday, and we're, and we're gonna we're gonna have the bouncing rides and the regular candy characters walking around giving out candy and stuff like that. So that'll be on Monday, the thirty first, which is the Halloween. At what time is okay, that? Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll announce the times at a later date. Yeah. Or Yes. Okay. Will the Holy Cross be doing a trick or treat? Yes. Yeah, no, they're having a trick or treat. Yeah. Okay. And when is that? When are they doing that? That's on. That's on the thirty-first, but it's at a different time. They're going to do it early. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Last well, year so it actually morning. worked out perfect because we had uh, we combined the Halloween parade with the pumpkin patch and then the kids walked over across the street to do the um to join in with holy cross but um okay so we're doing two separate things sunday and then monday right. okay all right any other announcements yes mayor Just, um, okay go ahead mike Everything's all set for this Saturday, October 8th, for the unveiling and the dedication of the uh, soccer statue and uh, monument. Everything's all set, and it should be a great day for Harrison. So I okay, just want to welcome everyone. I'd like to, I'd like to ask everyone to come out and support it and uh, be part of this historic event for the town of Harrison. Thank you. And the weather. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. We cooperate. Yeah. What? What? Very time, good. Mike, just for the record, what time is it? Festivities start at eleven o'clock. By the time uh, twelve o'clock will be the start of the unveiling process, but the uh, the uh, the day's festivities will start at eleven o'clock, and hopefully we can get the uh, unveiling process started by twelve noon. Every everything's okay. done, everything's laid out, and it should be a great day for the town of Harrison. It's long overdue. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, and I Mike. want to thank all the committee and all the council people for all their their help and input. And uh, you you were fantastic. Every we uh, we do, we're doing a good thing for the town of Harrison. And thank okay, you to Mike. the mayor thank and council, you. and and thank you to the committee. Thank you. Praise go to you, okay. Mike. You've been driving this project for years. Yeah. Good job, Mike. Yeah. So praise Thank goes you, to you. Mike. A lot of setbacks with the pandemic and such. And you kept that. But everything, we, we put it all together. Everyone, we work as a team. We put it all together. It's, and like I say, it's a, it's a historic uh, day for Harrison. It's going to be a great day. Thank you, everyone. Okay. All right. I, uh, I have another question. Um, if anybody's available on October 30th in the morning to help set up all the pumpkins and the haystacks, yeah. that would be uh, greatly appreciated. Yeah, thanks, Ellie. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now that I remember last year was uh, a little, it's, it's a lot of work. So the more help we have would be appreciated. What I'll, what okay, I'll do, we'll what I'll do maybe we can try to round up some volunteers. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> get the volunteers and contact you later all right all right thank you okay thank okay you. all right paul are we ready legal sure. committee uh, yeah legal has one item the residents are recognizing breast cancer awareness month in the town of harris that's all thank you we have a motion motion to approve second second okay roll call councilman bennett aye dollahan aye doran aye Baranga. Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Darbando? Aye. Bolada? Aye. And Mayor Fudge? Hey, hey Paul, Paul. Yes. Yes. I just want to let you know I lost my, my picture on my screen, but I don't want to touch nothing because I might get cut out. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Hear everything. Okay. Okay, Mayor. License Committee has two okay, items. Okay, License Committee. Oh. 
there's two items, a resolution approving a raffle license for Holy Cross Church, and then a resolution to approve an ABC license renewal for the 2022-2023 license term, and that was for OPIs. Thanks. That's all, Mayor. Okay. Can we have a motion? Motion. Motion. Second. Seconded. Okay. Made and seconded. Call the roll. Councilman Bennett. Aye. Uh, Dollahan. Aye. Uh, Doran. Aye. Baranga. Aye. Mendoza. Aye. Darabondo. Aye. Bellotta. Aye. And Mayor Fife. Aye. Okay, Paul, ordinance. Okay, we have ordinance 1469. It's an ordinance of the town of Harrison County of Hudson State of New Jersey, repealing and replacing ordinance 1445 regarding implementation of provisions of the New Jersey Cannabis Regulatory Enforcement Assistance and Marketplace Modernization Act. Um, so basically uh, the two changes we made were to uh, have a 500 foot setback from schools and public facilities. And also we had to change in the redevelopment area to expand a little bit from a mixed use zone to an adjacent zone that also has um, you know, retail storefronts that are in place right now. So if we could have a motion to open a hearing on this ordinance. Please. Motion to open a hearing. Second. All, all aye. 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 Okay, 642. So members of the public, if you'd like to speak right now, it's only on ordinance 1469. Please raise your hand and we'll recognize you and unmute your microphone. Oh, these are changes we talked about last month, right? Yeah, last for several months. So okay. I, we have two, we have two applications. Didn't we there. have it in, I thought we had a hearing on this last month. No, no, we 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 discussed it, and then I and then there was other other developments. We have again two retail applicants, and for various reasons, they had to both change the locations they had originally proposed. Right now. You know right. why we need this? You know these amendments. Okay, okay Mayor, there's no one uh, looking to speak, and I have a motion to motion close to close the hearing. Second. Check. All aye. 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 Okay. And can we have a motion to adopt on second and final reading? Motion adopt. Second. 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 Okay. second. Okay, roll call. Councilman Bennett. Aye. Uh, Dollahan. Aye. Uh, Doran. Aye. Baranga. Aye. Mendoza. Aye. Darabondo. Aye. Bellotta. Aye. And Mayor Fife. Mayor? Aye. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay if I finance can, Great, if I can do finance mayor, so we have uh, five items. So it's a resolution authorizing for NJSA 40A colon 4-87, insertion of items of revenue and offsetting appropriations in the 2022 municipal budget for the senior food program, a resolution to implement a Hudson County Board of Taxation judgment, a resolution authorizing overpayment refund to block 38, lot 26, C1041, a resolution regarding the 2022 accelerated tax sale. And finally, Mayor, I flipped the page. A resolution for payment of bills and payroll. That's all. Okay, can we have a motion? Motion. Motion approved. Second. Got it. Okay. okay made and seconded. A uh, roll call. Councilman Bennett. Aye. Dollahan. Aye. Doran. Aye. Baranga. Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Darabondo? Aye. Bellotta? Aye. And Mayor Fife? Aye. At this time, is there anybody from the public care to be heard? Okay, we have- Yes, there's uh, three people so far. Right, so let's take uh, the order I see. Ken Strohecker was first, Debbie. So we have uh, Mr. Ken Stroker. Hey, Mr. Schohecker, can you state your name and address, please? And then you have the floor. Yep. Ken Strawrecker, 706 North 5th Street, Harrison, New Jersey. Thank you. Uh, just asking for an update regarding Keysby. I know the park let me know that they were going to start the retaining wall this week, but I think because of the weather that's been delayed. But he didn't have an update regarding what the process and steps were going on for Keysby changing to that parking area. 
Uh, I can answer that one for you, uh, Ted. Uh, the, uh, we've spoken to the freeholders. I'm not the freeholders, the commissioners. And uh, we're we're working on it. We're trying and to, you know, get things moving in the right direction. And it, it's it's moving, but it's moving slowly. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. But we're, we're at, it's, at least it's moving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was surprised when the park guy came up so quickly and said that they were going to start working on the retaining wall so quickly. Uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Yep. <laughs> right. We wish they were a little quicker, but um, it is what it is. Hey, considering it was just brought up recently and every, you guys have talked about it roughly a month ago, month and a half ago, I, I'm happy with the process of the stuff. So. All right. Thanks, Ken. We'll keep yep. you abreast, though. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, Louisa Laura. Hi there, um, Louisa Laura, 1200 South Fifth Street, Harrison, New Jersey. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm calling in because I live right next to Red Bull Stadium, and I understand, you know, it being a great like generator of wealth for the for the town. But I do have an issue with the closure of the Jackson Street Bridge for, you know, 11 hours when there's games makes it really inaccessible. I literally can't get to my apartment because if I'm on that side of the town, that's the only entry point into my apartment. Otherwise, I have to go about 20 hour or 20 minutes um, to kind of just do the roundabout way. And in the notice that we receive as residents of this area, um, Harrison Police Station notice, it does give, you know, like Crucible Street and Peter Higgins, um, but nowhere in that notice does it state that the Jackson Street Bridge is closing, um, but it has been every single game. And so I just wanted to know what can be done so that that's not the case. And, you know, the games are about an hour before the game starts. Folks are coming in during the game and then after. I don't understand why 11 hours is a closure. It makes it really inaccessible. Um, and so I'm coming to you all for some assistance with that. Okay, is the police chief uh, with us tonight? Yes, uh, yes, sir, Mayor. All right, Chief, would you uh, address this young lady? Not not necessarily tonight, but get her phone number. And uh, you know, uh, hello, uh, Just if you I could heard? just, Mayor, yeah, if I could ahead. just basically touch something, and then I'll I'll get in touch with. Uh, through via email and a phone call. Okay. So we've had three international matches uh, within the right. last three weeks. Um, so that has been a very big challenge for us. And yes, the closures for Jackson Street um, normally would only occur about an hour long. But for these events, uh, the mass amount of traffic uh, for the safety of the, uh, the entire area, we did have that bridge shut down. So, uh, you know, we apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, we still do the escorts from uh, by Ciabras. However, you should expect that that should not be moving forward. Uh, this was a very unique uh, situation where we had those three events in a short time and it just really stressed our uh, infrastructure. So I will absolutely reach out. Um, I don't know how I can get an email address from you. Yeah, well, Chief, why don't you give her your email address and then she can. Okay. Yeah. So and it's, I do uh, appreciate the challenges that, that, that it brings. I know there was like a mass influx of people, um, but we'd love to kind of discuss solutions moving forward. Absolutely. Okay. Email. Okay. My uh, email is D, then Strumolo, S T R U M O L O, at townofharrison.com. Okay. Thanks very much. I, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. You will. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Of course. Okay, next, um, there's the designation of Mercy. So Mercy, we're gonna put you on. Your name and address, please. Debbie, she, is she muted herself or is that you? Um, no, she's not muted. It doesn't show that she is muted. Okay. Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, name and address, please. And then the floor is yours. Um, my name is Mercy. I live in 52 Searing Avenue, Harrison, New Jersey. And the reason that I'm here is because um, 
I, um, I wanted to know about the library, what's happening with it. Um, a few years ago, the balcony section was closed, supposedly to put a museum there. And now, um, and now the children's section, according to them, it got flooded. So there's no children's section last summer, since last summer. This summer, I mean, it wasn't no children's section. And it's a small library and it gets crowded. Uh, also, I wanted to know about the hours of the library because like at four, like we already supposed to be gathering our stuff ready to leave and the kids come out at three, three thirty, we make it to the library and then we're just there for a small amount of time. So, you know, education is important and reading is, it's so, so important for the kids. Any, any, any updates on when the children's section is going to open or the museum is going to happen or the hours are going to be extended? Okay, so, uh, yeah. Go ahead. No, okay. So, okay, so as far as um, the outside and some of the areas that had water infiltration, the town had an architect and an engineer draw plans. We went out to bid. We were hoping to start midsummer and the the bids that came in were like wildly above what the estimate was so we rejected them and then we're, we're in the process of rebidding so that's going on as we speak um so all those those areas you know the pillars and the the i don't know, do you call that the portico uh whatever whatever that, whatever that raised you know platform is all that's going to be fixed and we're trying to fix the water infiltration problem that caused the closure of the children's library. But during the summer, Mayor, I believe that we had the children's library in the community center in the air conditioning, correct? Yeah. Um, yeah, we did, yeah. Right. I think those were only the activities that were there, but they had now mm -hmm. leave um, the, the first floor, the main floor, they leave books at the racks, but they don't have all the books that the children are looking for. So, mm -hmm. but in the summer, they did accommodate the activities in the recreation center, the community mm -hmm. center. But now I don't know what's the plan now because I don't see no activities going on. I don't see no flyers or anything like that. We'll have uh, the librarian and the, the uh, chairman of the board contact you, leave your, leave your, uh, well, so, email, so here, email yeah. address or your phone and they'll get in touch with you. Uh, we we first have to, uh, we're going to have the boiler repaired shortly. And then uh, we'll, you know, the work will proceed from there. Although, um, Mr. Uh, um, Zarbetsky told you that, you know, we're going out to bid for, the, for all of the other things that caused some of the problems. Right. And the, and the bids <laughs> were extremely high. We did, you know. Um, but we'll have uh, the librarian and also uh, the chairman of the board of libraries because they they run the operations there. We'll give. Yeah, I spoke. I spoke to the librarian. I asked her, and um, they were like, "They need. They're waiting for approval from the town." That's what they told me. Oh, okay. I don't know what how long that takes, but at least the hours should be extended. <laughs> So, okay, really? so, I, yeah, do you want me to give you my, <coughs> my email address, Mercy, and then you could contact me tomorrow, and then we can get a, a discussion going with the library, because, again, we need to hear from people like you about, you know, suggestions for hours and such like that, because, you know, yeah. the people that use the library is who we want to hear from, so my, my email address is P, like Paul, J, like John, Z, like Zebra, A, R, B, like boy, E, T, S, K, I, at town of Harrison, like all one word, dot com. Or you just go on the website and you can find me. Um, give me a ring tomorrow and we'll get the librarian on and we'll, you know, we'll listen to what your suggestions are. And you know, I'm sure we could come to an accommodation. Mm -hmm. Mayor, I would suggest okay. libraries closing at four o'clock on a school day. I would suggest keeping it open later than that, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to change their hours. Right. Okay, thank you. They open, they open too early and close too early. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Anybody so, else? Yes, Mayor. Next is Kathy West. Again, Ms. West, oh, state okay. your name and address, please. And then your mic will be, microphone will be open. 
Hi, it's Kathy West, 1 Bergen Street, um, Harrison. I'm calling about uh, the traffic on Somerset uh, in front of the Element Hotel. Um, the traffic gets so backed up there because two, two lanes, it's very narrow, and you have people picking up and dropping off where you can be congested there for five minutes and it's become so dangerous. You cannot cross the street. They're all trying to cut in front of you. Um, you, you get stuck if you're trying to turn into the street. Honestly, I think if it was a one way, this would be less of a problem because these people are coming in off of Frankie Rogers into the street waiting for passenger pickups. Now I know that the passenger pickup is supposed to be on Guyon, but that doesn't change the fact that you're still having passenger pickups on Somerset. And it's just congested every single day. I can't believe you like the number of near collisions there and people getting out and screaming at each other because you can't move forward, you can't move backwards. You just end up getting stuck there. Uh, has it ever been considered to make this a one way or is it possible to make it a one way? Well, again, the police chief might be able to answer some questions for you, Kathy. I know uh, they've been meeting with the developers and the hotel and they've had like, I don't know, 10 different plans, but you know, I don't know if any of them would work. Well, aside from towing everybody that stopped, but that might be the, that might be the solution. I don't know. But uh, well, Chief, yeah, could, even, you, could you get, sir? Yeah. Go ahead, how, Kathy. how are you, Kathy? Good. Um, how are you, Chief? <laughs> very good. Um, so what we started to do, we have met with the developers probably on five separate occasions, and a one-way street uh, is basically our consensus. We're just trying to. We're working with the fire department also to see the best way to do that and keep it safe. Uh, in the interim, I do have, we opened up the substation down the south and I do have an officer for now posted nine to 10 in the morning <laughs> and four to five in the afternoon. And his primary goal at this point is, uh, I see the same thing you're seeing. We're pushing the cars on Somerset to stop them from drop off pickup. So if you'd like, I'll reach out to you. Uh, our next meeting that we hold with the uh, individuals down in that area. Um, I'll let you know when that occurs and it'd be great to have you involved. Yeah, that would be great um, because really it's it's really bad. I mean, it's really bad. We, we get stuck there and it 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 becomes, it's a real problem because people get out of their cars and start screaming at you. So not at me, but they start screaming at each other They because they're blocked. They can't move forward or backwards. It People just yeah. park there, you know? So, but that leads to another concern and that is people crossing the street there to get over to the train station. Um, you know, coming back and forth on Frankie Rogers frequently, I see people running in front of my car to get across the street. Um, that red light at the intersection of Andrew Cefeli and uh, Frankie Rogers, the red light sometimes malfunctions. I'm telling you, when you're trying to get across the street, when you get off the train and you try to get off the street and you're crossing where, where um, the Vanguard is, okay, the light just never turns green for you. You see the car is stopping and you wait for the light to turn green <laughs> for you and then the starts the cars start going. So a lot of people have a lot of complaints about why they don't want to go to the corner and cross. So is, is it possible just to make, put a light there so people could just cross uh, instead of I, running in front of my car? Yeah. If, if I may, we did discuss this. Um, it's really not an option at this point because of the elevated sidewalk on the other side of the street. We'd be crossing people and they'd be basically <clears throat> stuck in the roadway. Um, so obviously we put the signs up, we're directing everybody to Cefeli. But if you're saying that light is not uh, properly functioning, uh, that's something I'll take a look at tomorrow. 
I'll drive down there and I'll, uh, I'll have DPW come <coughs> with me and we'll see if we could at least remedy that and have a longer cross, uh, you know, a longer period of time for people to cross Frank Rogers. Right. But, Kathy, but I have, a, I have the... a question for you. Right. Kathy, <laughs> I have a question for you. Are you a real estate agent? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Oh, why? <laughs> saw, well, no, I saw some advertisements there that you, you know, I said, oh, wow, Kathy, I didn't know Kathy was a real estate agent. So, okay, thank you. Yes, 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 I am. Uh, but, okay. Uh, okay, so that said, uh, even if the light at the corner was working right, um, they're not walking to the corner. Like they're they're running out. Well, like we already had one accident, I think, last winter. Was it last winter or in the spring? I don't remember, but we already had one that I know about. And and they're really getting crazy running across the street. So for public safety purposes, there gotta be something done to make it either more difficult to cross the street there, maybe even shut off Somerset. Um, that has been discussed wow. as part of our, uh, you know, proposals. It was mm -hmm. to close that street and have it a dead end coming in from, uh, from Third Street. Uh -huh. uh, and again, that's discussions we had with also the fire department and we're trying to work that out. Unfortunately, uh -huh. with the PATH project, yeah. Uh, we're trying yeah. to keep people from running across that area. Uh, but the most we can do at this point is signs and trying to get an officer there as much as we can to kind of prod people to go down to the light. Uh, but I'll, I'll be happy to discuss any options you have also. Because uh -huh. you know, I've had plenty Kathy, of them. We're trying to make it work. <laughs> yeah, Kath, also, yes. uh, the Kath, Kath has uh, estimated that probably by April, they may open the other side, you know, the side of the street that uh, we people won't have to cross. They'll be able to go under under the tracks and up the stairway on the other side when they get the other part of the terminal finished. Oh, so that would be such a relief. Yeah. So hopefully by April they'll have that done. But you know, that's we got to keep after them. So. Right. 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 And my last um, question is about. The sidewalk in front of Harrison Yards. That the sidewalk in front of Harrison Yards is really narrow. So when you get off the train and you're walking one way, you know, you have the crowds getting off the train. It gets it gets tricky over there because people are trying to walk towards the train while there's a, more people trying to walk into Harrison. And then on game days, it becomes unmanageable because you have so many people on a very, very narrow section of sidewalk. And there is no barricade like there is on the other side of the street, which actually is pretty, I don't know. I, I, I just thought it was strange. There's a barricade on the other side of the street to prevent people from falling into the, into the roadway. But on the side where the, where you have the most people walking, the sidewalk is extremely narrow. And I don't know, if the stores start opening over there and more people come in, somebody's gonna get pushed into, the, into traffic. It's very narrow. I just don't see why the sidewalk narrows down from six, seven feet at one point down to like practically four feet of walking space right in front of Harrison Yards where those steps are going up into the commercial space. We'll have to consult with uh, Tony Lee, the owner of the place. Maybe he can come up with a solution for us. Or maybe put a barricade because people push and shove. And at nighttime, it's pretty dark. And, you know, you may unwittingly get pushed into traffic. So, so it gets dangerous right there, especially during game days. <coughs> okay. Point well mm -hmm. taken. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. And if I find anybody's looking for a bar, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have to give me a commission. <laughs> <laughs> you betcha. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, Thank all right. You. Can we have a bye motion bye. to adjourn? Hold on, Mayor. We have we have you know Claudia Volk. Um, oh, you okay. Could unmute her and then Ms. Volk, if you could state your name and address, and the microphone will be yours. Sure. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Claudia Volk, and my address is at the Irby, seven nine nine South Third Street. Oh, Part time. So. Um, I just wanted to make some comments and make a request. Um, Kathy mentioned what's going on on Somerset Street as a safety issue. I also see it as a revenue issue with respect to the municipal garage. We want to make it so people, once the pandemic alleviates somewhat, so that they use the municipal garage and they find it easy to get in and out of. Um, and then I was really wondering, what is the city doing to interface with the Port Authority on the overpass to get people over 4th Street um, you know, from the east side or from the west side to the east side? It, it, it's really taking too long, in my opinion. But Well, you, it's taking too long, in uh, our you know, opinion, too. You guys too, have but... a lot of leverage <laughs> over, the, over, the, over the Port Authority, and they're happy to work with you. So We do? Have leverage? You said? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It's your town. No, we've it's we've, your we've consulted. We've consulted it's with them. It's your town, and, and, and if they if they made if they made a promise to make an overpass, and if it's taking too long, in your opinion. And they it's creating did, well, first of all, they did not promise to make an overpass. They have an un, once that underpass opens. On the on the one side, on the hotel side of the street, a lot of people will not be crossing the street. They'll be going over it because there's going to be an entrance to the path on that side. That's my point exactly. And so I guess so the, the the just so I understand, the town's position is that you cannot interface with the port authority and press upon them that you would really appreciate if that no, overpass. No, we, we 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 try to impress upon them a lot. Uh, the Port Authority is an independent by state agency, and I, I don't think there's, well, maybe Jersey City can or Newark can press them, but we've, we've talked to them on numerous occasions, and uh, hopefully that'll so solve, the solve most of the problem once they open that other side of the station. Because before we didn't have, when, when both sides were open, we didn't have people crossing like that. Like okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. I understand the history of it all, so you don't have to give me a history lesson. And I appreciate oh, okay. your answer. Thank you so much. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And Mayor, just just so you know, I, I know that the police have been involved with the Port Authority, you know, on, on a weekly basis about about the safety for the pedestrians. And I know that you and I get updates regularly from the Port Authority on the progress. So just I want everybody. Yeah. Well. And we talk to them too, you know, we have uh, right. contacts we make with them, so. Right. But I'll uh, I'll give them another buzz and make sure that they're moving in faster than usual, but right. no guarantee they're gonna do that. Okay. So. Hey, Mayor, we have Jenna Barone. Um, Debbie oh, from Jenna. Again, name and address and the microphone's yours. Hi, Jenna Barone, 42 South 5th Street. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, as you know, I'm pretty, I like to be pretty involved with the town and with the upcoming election, I'm very active on our Facebook group for Harrison's resident forum. And I was curious if there is a website supporting like Mayor Fife, your re-election and your board that's running with you and any points of, I guess, how you will lead Harrison in the upcoming, should you be elected in the upcoming years to follow? I've seen a lot of support for the um, Anselmo Milan and what he's setting out to do. And I obviously am a big supporter of you and the council and everything that you guys have done, but I haven't seen much. I, maybe I'm millennial. I, I'm only, only on Facebook and social media. I haven't seen much about that. And I was hoping that there was either a website or something that I could start sharing with people. So, so Jen, so, you know, it's uh, somebody, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Hello? Is that oh, me? one second. Sorry. Oh. Let me, let me mute myself. Okay. okay. I mean, so, so as far as the public forum, um, it's an opportunity for the public to comment on public issues. Um, as far as the election goes, like, you know, that's, 
that's a separate issue from the public forum. So um, if you want to make any any comments, you're you're free to. But I was just pointing. Uh, Jennifer, there, there was going to be Jennifer. It's going to be some literature coming out to each uh, individual voter. Um, what whatever Mr. Milan says, he can say, but he hasn't been around for three years. He's done nothing. So uh, we're going to be you'll be getting you're receiving some literature from us, and we'll tell you what we're going to do for the next uh, four years. We're going to continue good government like we have. No okay, borrowing. Awesome. Uh, I don't want to make any political speeches now, though. <laughs> but anyway. No, no so, worries at all. I just, um, I, th I wanted to ask because I am, like I said, very active and I wanted to show my support, but as someone who I didn't have much information um, on future plans, so I was just curious if there was a forum, but thank you for letting me know there'll be literature and you can expect to be seeing me post a lot in your support and as well as the rest of the council. And I'm looking forward to reading about it as well. Okay, thank you very much, Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. Okay, Mayor, if we get a motion to dismiss. Motion, motion, motion to, adjourn. to adjourn. Second. Second. Seconded. All aye. Seconded. Aye. 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 No. Okay, thank you. We're adjourned. Um, have, okay. a, have a good night, everybody. Thank Mayor, you. Good night. Mayor, are you still there? Yeah. Okay, it's Ellie. Yeah. Um, Jenna, are you still the building uh, across from me? Not at the buildings down. Is there any way we can get our street back? Take them barriers down. Well, Ellen, Ellen, look, have, they're going to be they're going to be building there. But they they're have actually moving to both streets. They have big fences. No, no, like, no. I I understand that, but they're going to be building. They're bringing some stuff in there, uh, and uh, at at some time. You'll get your street back, but 